also going to have problems where you are given maybe the area or the perimeter or some other total thing of a shape in one of the dimensions and you need to find maybe the other dimension. Because here I have the width, maybe I need to find the length, okay? In this case, I am given the area of this rectangle. I know the width of my rectangle and I want to find out what the, oh, what those perimeter of the rectangle is. Okay? So, first of all, let's go with what I'm trying to find. So I'm trying to find the perimeter. So, writing down the perimeter formula, it's 2 times the sum of my length and my width. Okay, so of this rectangle, I know that the width is 5. So I'm going to rewrite this. The width is 5. Well, what's the length? They didn't tell me. So that's what I need to find out. So now, looking back, before I just say, oh, they didn't tell me everything, look and see if you can figure it out from everything else. So we have a width and we have area. So I'm going to write down something that relates the width and the area, the two things that they gave me. Well, that would be my area formula. The area of a rectangle is the length times the width, or base times height. So subbing in, substituting in my numbers. So the area is 30. So in place of my A, I'm going to write 30. I still don't know what my length is, but my width is 5. So I'm looking for what number times 5 gives me 30. Well, solving this equation, I get that the length, I'm going to write that cursive so it's a little easier to see. So the length of this rectangle is 6. Well now I can use that down here in my perimeter formula. So in place of the L, I'm going to put 6. So order of operations, add those first. 6 plus 5 is 11. Multiply that by 2, and I get that the perimeter is 22. Looking at my units, it would be centimeters, because we're just going around. So 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 would be 22 centimeters.